Although science is at the forefront of understanding the many challenges of global warming and climate change, it's most likely that business will provide the support, impetus and cash that will drive the solutions. Professor Roger Simnett is the head of the University of New South Wales School of Accounting, a somewhat unlikely and largely unsung hero in the story of greenhouse gas emissions. I suppose I've become very passionate, so certainly uh, very heavily involved, individually, personally involved uh, in this work. And, I, and it's not only me, I can see that society has moved very quickly on this issue uh, of climate change. Roger fronts multiple international working groups and task forces focusing on monetising and standardising the business of being green. His primary goal is simple, to have accountants do for carbon what they already do for economy. There's a, there's a couple of roles in here. I think in the first place that you know we've, we've got all these scientific, hopefully the scientific developments which are taking in place we have to make sure they're credible, so they have to be reported properly so that people can have a look at these and make imp uh, informed decisions. Unlike traditional financial reporting based on dollars and cents, accounting for greenhouse gas emissions has no precedent. The base units are invisible, complex, and our understanding of them is changing at breakneck speed. We can see that uh, the reporting is still evolving, uh, how we measure these things is evolving, uh, a lot of the schemes uh, are difficult to measure. Uh, there's lots of challenges in this particular field which we are, which we are attempting to deal with as a, as a profession. The challenges are far from insurmountable though. And with public will in place, the first and arguably most difficult obstacle has already been overcome.